on Twitter, Luis J. Gomez was talking about a list that's going around to all the comedy club owners of racist comedians and telling them not to book them. And he was lamenting the fact that he wasn't on the list. But he said the list did get leaked on Facebook. So I figured we'd take a look at the list and see who made it and who did it. So this lady, Victoria Tausi Arnstein, on Facebook, put, according to a person who claims I'm racist because I don't believe in looting, I was put on a list for comedians threatened to never be booked again in New York. Laughable, here is the powerful list. By the way, this girl met me once. Her name is Remy Kazmier, a spoiled, rich, fake, woke, white, self-hating Jewish girl. The audacity to threaten someone based on an assumption is sick. Oh, and the guy who comes to my open mics and who I had on my show as a last minute favor he asked me for, who I am pretty sure stole from me when he took tickets at the door name is Ethan Levine. So I'm going to be putting brackets around a bunch of these names. All right, so here's the list of the comedians. It's from Naruta Williams. Mark Hefgott. Ari Tiemann, Scott Vogel, Sheila Ann Reeder, Matt McClowry, Gabrielle Killian, Mario Gentile, Frankie Mauricio, Victoria Arnstein, that's that lady, Ken Parker, Peter Hill, Danny Costanzo, Tim Nato, or Nato, Ricky M. Soffer, or Sofer, so for King Nice, uh, Chris Reyes and Jeff Lawrence. Yeah, that one down. I gotta be honest, though. I've never heard of any of these people. I have no idea who these people are. Let me know if you know who these people are and what do you think about this whole list of um, racist comedians being given to um, club owners and being told not to book them. I don't know, but... Oh, and uh, apparently the lady who uh, put this lady on the list, she went and then apologized. That cashmere lady, she hit her in this post uh, apologizing. So, uh, that's weird. But like I said, let me know. Yeah, right here, Remy Cashmere. I want to take this time to apologize, Victoria, for assuming and calling her a racist and threatening to ruin her name and her reputation as a businesswoman. Uh you can read the whole thing, but let me know your thoughts and who you think should be on the list. 